Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. The canon novel, Resistance Reborn, which takes place immediately following The Last Jedi, introduced two new and very interesting groups to the Star Wars canon. These two groups, the Ryloth Defense Authority and the Collective, played a role in assisting the Resistance in their own unique ways, helping the Resistance regroup and bolster their forces following the crushing defeat at the Battle of Crete. Since these two organizations have only appeared in Resistance Reborn at this point, there is not a ton of information available about both organizations, so I figured I'd explain who these groups were, what the purpose of each group was, and how exactly they assisted the Resistance following The Last Jedi. So who were the Collective and the Ryloth Defense Authority, and what were the purposes of each organization? Let's start with the Collective, which was an underground organization that was made up of engineers, technicians, scientists, and anyone who was determined to halt and disrupt the spread of authoritarianism with the use of technology. According to the First Order data pusher, Monty Calais, they were an organization of dangerous and untrustworthy tricksters, thieves, and a public menace. Simply put, the Collective was a loosely structured organization organization that had no hierarchy or leaders who worked to combat the First Order using their technological skills, knowledge, and resources. Most, if not all, of the identities of those that made up the Collective were unknown. When reading Resistance Reborn, they kinda sorta reminded me of the real-world hacker organization Anonymous, but I'm not sure if that's where writer Rebecca Roanhorse drew inspiration from when writing about the Collective or not. The second group introduced in Resistance Reborn was the Ryloth Defense Authority, also known as the RDA. Unlike the Collective, the RDA was a more structured organization which did have a hierarchy. Led by former Rebel Alliance operative Yendor, the RDA was an unofficial defense group, or supplemental militia that vowed to never allow Ryloth to be subjugated by oppression and slavery as they had during the days of the Clone Wars and the reign of the Galactic Empire. They were a philosophical offshoot of Cham Syndulla's free Ryloth movement, and they operated with the full knowledge and support of the Rylothian government, but were somewhat autonomous from governmental sanction. Essentially, the RDA operated independently, but with the blessing of Ryloth's government. Furthermore, they served as a potential backup plan should the Rylothian government ever fall and oppression and slavery threaten to return to Ryloth, especially in the form of First Order subjugation. Now that we know who and what the Collective and the Ryloth Defense Authority were, how exactly did they assist the Resistance? Following the First Order's destruction of the Resistance base on Dakar, the Resistance were in search of some place to set up a base or a place to lay low and hide from the First Order, as well as fighters to bolster their ranks and ships and equipment. Hoping to secure a place to lay low, General Leia Organa and a contingent of Resistance fighters went to Ryloth seeking friends of the New Republic and the Resistance, specifically Yendor, since he was a former Rebellion pilot who fought in the Galactic Civil War with Corona Squadron. After Leia pleaded to Yendor and several other RDA members, reminding Yendor that he owed her a favor, the Resistance were given permission to use the old Ryloth Historical Society's library as their hideout for a bit. Meanwhile, with the help of Monte Calais, the Collective was able to obtain a data pad containing a list of individuals considered subversives, allies of the Resistance, assassination targets, as well as prisoners of the First Order, one of which was an old friend of Leia's, Ransom Kisterfo. Maz Kanata found out about the acquired list and informed the Resistance that it would be auctioned off by Nefera Shu, the wife of an influential Corellian businessman and collective benefactor, at her birthday party in Coronet City on Corellia on behalf of the collective. Hoping to save the individuals on the list, as well as potentially recruit fighters to their cause, Poe and a team of resistance fighters were dispatched to the auction on Corellia with the hope of bidding for and winning the list. While Poe and the resistance were working on obtaining the list from the collective, Leia and company soon found themselves under attack by the First Order, as the Rylothian government notified the First Order that the resistance was hiding on the planet. As Poe was trying to secure the acquired list from the collective, the First Order also learned of the auction taking place at Nefera Shu's house and quickly swarmed the party, killing and arresting those in attendance. Fearing for her life, Nefera Shu then agreed to provide the resistance with a list if they would help her escape, which Poe consented to. Once Poe heard of the First Order attack on Ryloth, he then asked Nefera Shu for the Collective's assistance in securing another place to hide out and lay low from the First Order. Nefera agreed to provide the resistance with coordinates to a Collective's safe house if Poe gave the Collective the remaining credits that he and his team came to Corellia with which Poe agreed to. The Collective and the Ryloth Defense Authority were able to provide the Resistance with places to hide out and regroup from the First Order, even if the Resistance stay on Ryloth was short-lived. 
Additionally, both groups helped the resistance bolster their numbers, with several members of the RDA joining the resistance, including Yendor and the RDA's ambassador, Charth Brethen. And, after rescuing and freeing multiple people that were on the list the resistance obtained from the collective, several freed prisoners joined the resistance ranks, and the resistance also hoped to recruit others on the list not yet rescued. Leia was also able to reunite with her newly freed friend, Ransom Kisterfo. Resistance Reborn was able to provide information on how both groups would go on to directly impact the Resistance's ability to survive, grow, and continue to fight during the year between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Were you aware of the Collective and the Ryloth Defense Authority, as well as their impact on the Resistance during the time between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.